We begin with breaking news regarding General Motors' plans to uh, idle five plants next year. Yeah, there could be a potential buyer for those plants. Tesla CEO Elon Musk told CBS 60 Minutes that he may be willing to buy some of the five factories if GM is willing to sell them. Now, that interview will air, air Sunday night on here on WKBN 27. Tesla, by the way, makes three all-electric cars. It only has one plant. It's in California. Um, Fiat Chrysler already plans to open an idle GM engine plant in Detroit. That's where it'll make a Jeep model. Now to continuing coverage of the Drive at Home campaign to support GM Lordstown. Today, Youngstown Warren Regional Chamber President James Dignan met with Ohio Attorney General and Governor-elect Mike DeWine in Columbus about the future of the complex. Yeah, the meeting comes a little more than a week after GM announced it would stop production of the cruise. Here's Noah Daniels Wilder with more. While the announcement at GM left workers in the Lordstown plant scrambling to figure out what's next, government officials sat down today to talk about how they can keep those jobs in the valley. James Dignan told me that even though GM threw an unexpected punch to workers in the valley, the fight is just beginning. He's hoping for the best, but planning for the worst. Best case scenario, GM finds another product for the plant to make. Dignan says the incoming DeWine administration is already working to convince GM executives they will do whatever needs to be done to keep GM's presence in the Valley. Uh, they plan to be present uh, and engaged at the Detroit Auto Show shortly after the inauguration. They already have set up their meetings with uh, Mary Barra and others. Uh, saying that the state is a uh, partner. Uh, the Boning Valley is open for business. They're still working to get a plan in place if the plant in Lordstown would one day close for good. They plan to have another meeting coming up soon. That meeting will focus more on if GM will leave Lordstown and the Valley forever. Live in the newsroom, Noah Daniels Wilder, WKBN 27, First News at 6.